guys, what's up? It's Bex, and I'm back with another makeup video. Today, we are going to be recreating this look right here. It's something really simple, fun to do, and perfect for any of my green lovers out there or even St. Patrick's Day. So without further ado, let's go get into some makeup and try out our luck of the Irish. Everybody say hi to Lily as we try to film. So of course we're going to go in with our, for our brow pencil. So we're gonna go in with the NYX. This is in the shade Cool Ash Brown. I will link everything that I use. I will link it in the description box. I am sure though that the LDS mid singles hopefully we'll be doing something so i will do something with them because i have a lot of friends there and they're really great people and it's a great way to meet other lds singles you can make a love connection with or just friends and it's always nice to have friends your age in the same boat as you Oh yeah, she looking good. So this is my first video I'm filming with this new camera that I just got. So you guys will have to let me know how you think it is, how it looks, if the video quality, the picture quality looks good. I need to go get my eyebrows waxed for sure. And I need to get my lashes done too, which is coming up this week. All right, I think we are looking good on the eyebrow situation. I'm going to use the Billion Dollar Brows, the Brow Gel, just to set these bad boys in place, which I need more, which is why I'm going in a little rough with it. I wiggle it, trying to get more product out. And of course now for the eyes, we're gonna lay down the P. Louise base, and this is in the shade Rumor 0.5. Going in with a flat brush. And again, a little goes a long way with this bad boy here. So we're gonna just smash this down and then onto this side. I love this product as it goes on your skin, it warms up to your body heat and makes it even more movable, if that's even the word for it. One of the palettes we're gonna be using today is the Morphe Jeffree Star. To set our base, we're gonna go in with a fluffy brush and we're gonna go in with the shade 1985 right here. And I see some creasing, so we just make sure that that is pushed in so we don't see any creasing. Now I know this is not a usual color that I use to set my eyes, but I wanted to do something different and warm it up. It will be interesting to see what it looks like to have green eyes and green, green eyeshadow. All right, just buff this into the skin, smooth out those harsh edges from the base that we put down. So now we wanna set down a really nice transition shade. We're gonna go in with a fluffy, more of a dome-shaped brush. We're gonna use this shade here, which is Chanel. Now, for my hooded eye girls, see where your crease is? You push this brush into the crease and let the dome work for you to put it just a little bit above your crease only because we don't want this makeup look to be lost in our hooded eyes so you look straight and just pop that color in there and again once you have an idea of where your hood is and where this should go to kind of bring it up you can slightly close your eyes and you have an idea of where to put it, how far above your crease to put it. Now with sort of the same type of brush, however, this is just shaped a little different. 
We're gonna go in with this shade here called Nate. Look how beautiful that is. So now we're just gonna go a little below where we put that transition shade and put it here and then move it, use the brush to move it over. Now I know it looks wild right now, but just trust the process. And then once you really have all that color for the most part off of your brush, just blend it out up top, just very lightly. I've had for the last two weeks, maybe even longer, this Ed Sheeran song, you look, you look gorgeous tonight or lovely or something like that. Oh my God. I don't know why I have it in my head, but it's driving me bonkers. I will tell you that. I do not want any love songs in my head right now. I'm good, hard pass, no thanks. Now, of course, we're gonna use a hella fluffy brush for blending. So we just wanna blend just a little bit, these harsh edges, just a little bit out. And I know a lot of people say, oh my goodness, it's so far up close to your brow. Well, that's the problem that us hooded eye girls have. If you look straight on, you can see that it's not too much above our eyelid. So now with a similar brush, but a little bit more dense, and as you can see, it's just a different size. We're gonna use from the Controversy palette. We're gonna use this beautiful shade right here, which is Put it back. So this is gonna go more down here. And just drag it over. Now normally for a shimmer shade, we would not use a brush like this, but we don't really want it packed on. We just want it to enhance this other green that we have. Actually, we might need a little bit of a denser brush for this one. So we're gonna go in with this. Thought we could use that other brush, but turns out not so much. See how beautiful that is though? It's very beautiful. Gus and Bob are celebrating a year, but when this video comes out, they will already have turned a year. Very excited. I'm gonna have a little birthday party for them at the bark park. <laughs> Do you celebrate your animals and their birthdays or milestones or what it be? What may it be? What? I don't even know what I'm saying. So now we want a little bit on this lash line to go on this outer V with this beautiful color here. And just so I can get a good color payoff, I am gonna pull my lid just slightly. I'm really loving this shade. But we are gonna go back in with that original brush that I wanted to use and buff, buff it into that other green. Let's put some in the inner corner here. And of course it looks crazy at first, but you know, we always clean it up. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Bring it a little down here. And again, we'll clean it up. Don't you worry. Although right now I look like a superhero, right? <laughs> and I just don't know what my superhero name would be. What do you think it would be? Drop it in the comments below. Now, what we're gonna do is the pot of gold. So we're gonna put down the glitter primer from NYX. We're gonna put that in the center. She will come out, there she is. This stuff is so sticky, but that is what we want. We want sticky, we want tacky, cause then our glitter will stick to it. Whew, all right, moment of truth of what we're gonna do on this eye. We're gonna use, shoot, now the color that I wanted to use, I'm like, I don't know if I wanna use that one or not. Yeah, now, no, we'll still use it. We're gonna do, I think it's called Millions. That really gold glittery. Putting it on with a very flat brush. Look at that color. And just pushing it in right there like that. And I like it, I just want a little bit more close to that inner corner. What do you think so far? Going in with that fluffy brush just to blend a little bit and not have it so harsh of a transition. Now, of course, going back in on the other side, same thing. Now 
Look at that sparkle. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so the eye look is done and I'm gonna get some stuff to clean it up and we'll be right back. All right, see, we cleaned it up. It looks great. We're just gonna go in with some micellar water and clean up my lashes. Actually, we're gonna go in with the Maybelline. This is the Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner in Black. So now I'm just gonna put it down on the lash line, just kind of set it there instead of fully dragging it out. I am not a master when it comes to this liquid liner. But I do it because I just want a little bit fuller looking lashes, but I just set it on and tap it in. Tap, 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 tap that in. If you know what movie that's from, drop it in the comments below. Actually, you know what, let's do a moment where we can appreciate this eye look. All right, let's zoom on out and work on the face. So I'm gonna test out again the Luminous Airbrush Makeup. So let's go shake it up. Now this is the Hydrating Primer, which you know, your girl loves a good hydrating primer. Ooh, somehow we are pushing that green color up. I did not want that. Let's see if I can get rid of it. So we're gonna let that settle in, take a water break. You wanna come up here? You wanna come up here while we wait? We're gonna have a bob break while we wait for, oh, there you go, Bob. While we wait for the primer to settle in, we're gonna have a bob moment. <gasps> it's a bob, it's a bob moment. Oh, it's a bob moment. Oh, no, don't lick the primer off. <laughs> Oh, there we go. You see in the mirror how handsome you are. I love you. Oh, I love you. All right, get down. Oh, yeah. So now we're gonna go in with the foundation. This is in the shade Tan 90, which is way too tan for me, but I wanna give this more of a wear test because I know I, last time I was supposed to give you guys give you guys a wear update and my camera went to crap, my old camera. So I like to put just little dots everywhere and blend it in. This is buildable, which is nice. Feels so good going on the skin. I'm trying to blend out that green that I moved around. You're supposed to buff it into your skin like such. And as you can see, it just still makes my skin look like skin, which I absolutely love because I hate it when I look cakey because I feel cakey and I feel what doesn't look too bad under these lights, but do, 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 do. now we will go in with the Becca set and refresh with a very fluffy brush just because I want to set a little bit of this to see how it holds up. We're going to use the NARS bronzer. This is in the shade Laguna. Just going in with this brush here. Now this won't look so crazy. I am gonna go wash my hair here in a minute. Now I was watching Nicole Concilio and she talked about when you find the hollow of your face to bring the bronzer or the contour up just above that. I don't know if you guys can tell a difference or not. She said something about it making the, I guess the hollows more hollow. <laughs> it's not the right word, but do a little on the side of my nose, blend it out. So I'm trying to see if I can blend this down more so it doesn't look like I have such a double chin. <laughs> We're gonna go in with a very pink from P. Louise, which it's in the shade I don't know. <laughs> I wish I knew, but on the packaging, it's just, it's this. In this and we're gonna go in with an angled fluffy brush just tap it in at first because we don't want too too pink but still rosy 
I had my therapy session yesterday and my therapist, cause it's telehealth. She was like, wow, are the, are the boys there? And I moved over and she could see Gus in the big chair and Bob in the floor. And I'm like, they're here. They're just being good boys. So now this is supposed to be a pot of gold highlighter from P. Louis. Oops, it just oozed on out. So I wanna take a flat brush that's not been used or even maybe just a fluffy brush. Maybe we'll do a fluffy brush with it. Maybe just a little fluffy brush. Oh yeah, it's supposed to come out gold when it dries. And we'll do just a little down the bridge of my nose over here. Just a little, since it's very gold. Yeah, I like this brush a lot better. I can have more control of what I'm doing since this is a liquid highlighter. Let's let them connect right here. Just blend them in with my finger there. Just have a little remnants. Rem, remin, remin, remin? I don't know, rim, minute, knit. <laughs> like, rip, rip, rip. What do you guys think? But see, this is, comes out this color and then it dries down to that once it's dry. So now we're gonna test out on my lower lashes the Milk Mascara. It is the Kush Mascara. Now I'm gonna go shower and I will come back. We will do lips after the shower. All right, so we are back and I have worn this throughout the day. The eyeshadow look, <laughs> I had to clean up a lot of it underneath. So I was not a huge fan of that and we were out to eat. So I had these just dark green circles and I'm gonna get a little closer and make sure you guys can see it. The glitter creased and went up a little bit. It doesn't look too bad when I look straight on, but closing my eyes, it is one big, <laughs> One just big weird mess but other than that this makeup look was a lot of fun to create so you guys will have to tell me what you think below in the comments just let me know give it a thumbs up did you like this video did you not like this video oh let's zoom in so we can see how my skin did it feels like i sweat sweated sweated all the makeup off like you can't really tell like this just looks so funky <laughs> and I'm really oily. So eh, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of how the foundation wore down throughout the day. I did go out to eat and then I did do laundry. What else did I do? Oh, I cleaned and I walked the dogs, but it just, it just looks like I don't really have anything on. Like it's nice to feel my skin, but I just didn't like the way that it wore down. And I think that's also probably why this stuff just melted down this way. And then the mascara just didn't stay on my lashes very well. So not a huge fan of that, but otherwise, she looking good. <laughs> Anyways, be sure to subscribe to my channel leave a comment below and hit that bell icon so you get notified each and every time that I do a video. Okay, we're still recording. We are still recording. We are still good on the mic. I hate this chair that it squeaks. <laughs> Nugget, what are you doing? There's nowhere for you to sit up here. You're not gonna sit on me. You're not gonna sit on this makeup. And there's a hair, ugh boys Ugh. just got that in my lash oh <laughs> it will be brush cleaning day today faux show sure. <laughs>